I have every intention of watching Space Jam A New Legacy, but it occurred to me that I didn't really remember the first Space Jam film. All I remember is seeing a trailer for it when I went to one of the Warner Brothers cinemas. Do you remember those? I really liked those. So I decided to give it a watch, and I have to say I liked some of it. In fact, generally speaking, I liked a good chunk of it. But I definitely feel like it's a film that I would feel nostalgic for if I remembered it, rather than enjoying it as an adult. But I'm still going to see the sequel. So this original was released in 1996, directed by Joe Peitka, and stars, of course, Michael Jordan as Michael Jordan. And the premise is quite unusual. I will read the description from IMDb. In a desperate attempt to win a basketball match and earn their freedom, the Looney Tunes seek the aid of retired basketball champion Michael Jordan. So these aliens who have like a fun fair, a circus, an amusement park, are, are, are tasked, they're from Moron Mountain, which I think is brilliant, it's an amusement park planet, and they're tasked with finding new attractions. So they go after the Looney Tunes, and they capture them. But... Bugs then tricks them into competing um, in a bit in, in a basketball match, and obviously, if the if the Looney Tunes win, they get free. If they don't win, they will go to Moron Mountain and become these attractions. But the Looney Tunes realize that the only way they might have a chance of winning is if they enlist the help of Michael Jordan. So Michael Jordan has to work with the Looney Tunes to try and beat these. Um, more on mountain creatures, is that the right word? The nerd looks. And I don't like more on mountain. I don't like the residents. I I, I obviously they're in, they're they're integral to the narrative that's presented. But I don't like I don't feel like it was necessary. This would have been much more interesting if perhaps the Looney Tunes were battling against humans. And they worked really hard and ended up defeating Michael Jordan and the rest of the basketball team. That would have been a much more interesting premise. I don't know how hard they'd have to work to beat Michael Jordan, but it shows that little people, little animated people, can have just as much much strength and power as somebody as physically incredible as Michael Jordan if they just utilise their brains and work as a single unit. I feel like that would be a better, not a better narrative, a better moral, a better story. This one is not that exciting. The narrative itself I did not care about, but I did enjoy the live action animation crossover. I always do. Really adore it. Particularly enjoyed it. Is this a spoiler? No, it's not. When Michael Jordan entered the world of the Looney Tunes, because usually when we have animation live actions, the animation enters the live action world. And that does happen. But I love it when a live action character enters the world of animation. I just think that's, it reminds me of Mary Poppins or Fed Nuts and Broomsticks and I just love it so much. Both of those, of course, not Warner Brothers. It's a good film. It's visually entertaining. It's quite funny, the scenes on the golf course, I surprised myself by saying this, but the scenes on the golf course I found particularly laugh out loud funny. I did genuinely enjoy those. I loved seeing the Looney Tunes characters, but I'm not the biggest Looney Tunes fan, which is something that I do acknowledge. I I like Bugs Bunny, um, I like Taz, but I'm not that bothered. If they were Disney characters and it was a Disney film with the same concept, I would have enjoyed it a bit more. But obviously I can't criticise a film for being made by a completely different studio. I do like Bill Murray though, of course. So there are aspects of this that I thought were pretty good. Certainly I enjoyed it, but it's probably not a film I will watch again. I will, however, go and watch the sequel. If you have fond memories of this film, let me know. For me, not really fond memories, because I can't remember watching it. I've enjoyed watching it for what I'm considering to be the first time as an adult. Never going to be my favourite, but one that I would definitely recommend.